Hey everyone! Have you ever come across a Google account? Sign in prompt on your Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra? It is the Google FRP lock found in many Samsung device models. If you are dealing with it and wondering how to bypass Google FRP lock on S21 Ultra, we are here to help. We know how frustrating it can be for you. No calls, no texts, no social media app, no games. You can do nothing on your phone. Despite all the problems you are facing, it's possible to use your Samsung phone by removing the Google lock. Even if you have purchased an old Samsung or forgotten the screen lock, we are here to help in fixing the Google lock issue in your phone. Here's how you can do so and what tool you will need to bypass Google FRP lock on Samsung S21 Ultra successfully. While there are many different solutions that offer lock screen bypass services, PassFab Android Unlock is two-in-one removal tool for Android screen and Samsung FRP lock. Support for major Android phones including Samsung, Google, Motorola, LG, HTC, Huawei, Xiaomi, etc. The process is simple enough that anyone can use it. Removing the need for any sort of technical knowledge. There is no need for a Samsung account, Alliance Shield, a second phone, or any APK downloads. You can get started instantly by downloading PassFab Android Unlock. Now from here choose the tool for your PC or Mac. PassFab comes with 30-day money-back guarantee, free customer support with free updates. Clicking on Buy, you will be redirected to different plans page. With one month to lifetime licenses, if you buy a one month plan, that allows to work with five devices and with one PC in just 30 US dollars. Now again, click on buy now. Here you need to complete the billing and payment information. I choose the PayPal for payment. I quickly receive the keys via email. Launch the tool to start. Here on main screen, you have option to enter the key with login details. Fill your key and done. Now follow the steps with me. Step one. Connect your Samsung device to computer by USB cable, then select Remove Google Lock or FRP. Step 2. I have Android 13 so I will select this option. Select the OS version of your Samsung device and click Start. If you don't know, click on the below Don't Know the Device OS version to check. Step 3. Before starting, you need to check the on-screen notes and confirm, then click on Start. The following guide is divided according to the device OS version you selected. So just choose your Samsung version and go on. Next, follow the guide step by step. Tap the angle on your phone to return to the welcome screen and tap emergency call. Then tap hashtag zero hashtag in the dial pad and the phone screen will go into test mode. Last but not least, tap OK or allow on your Android device. Then wait for PassFab Android Unlock to bypass the Google FRP. Do not operate your phone when PassFab is trying to remove the Google lock. When finished, you can enter the home screen on Samsung, then go to Settings, General Management, Reset, and Factory Reset your device to completely bypass the FRP. Step 4. Wait for the process to complete. Once done, device will restart automatically. Your Android would now be required to be set up for first-time use. In most of the cases, you will lose data while using this feature, and there is no product on the market that can do it without data loss. I will drop a link in description. Do check out you might be needed. See you in the next one.